Hello, hello, everybody. I am Monkey Puzzle. I am this guy. <laughs> I've gotten pretty buff lately. I've been lifting, you know. <laughs> but you might already know what this is. I have been playing Ark Survival Evolved. And I've been getting to know it a little bit. Getting used to the game. Learning what I'm doing a little bit. Um, before I started recording it and also the last couple weeks my computer has been freezing and I haven't been able to record and stuff I set up an old computer that was good enough to play but not good enough to record uh, So here we are and I have to say I am really loving this game. I definitely have critiques of it but I have been kind of obsessed. <laughs> Definitely have been binging on it. I find it really immersive. I find it really beautiful. I love a lot of the modeling of the dinosaurs and stuff. We've got a wild female stego here who has just put her neck through a tree. <laughs> but uh, she's hanging out. And uh, she's an herbivore, so I don't have a lot to worry about her. We've got a tyrannid ooh, Tyrannodon here. It's a little stuck in the forest, trying to find its way out. And that's really cool. So, yeah, I'm sure I don't have to give you guys a full introduction. Uh, oop, excuse me. <laughs> of this game at this point. You guys probably have seen a lot of folks doing it in the last week. It has become really popular all of a sudden. Everybody's playing Ark. I felt like in the week that I didn't record, everybody might have played the whole game and be done. Whoa. Now that was a glitch. Uh, which happens. Oh, there it is. It's probably because I'm recording. This is the first time I've actually tried recording it. But over here, yeah, we've got this guy, the uh, Parasaurus. And the little, those are cool. They're pretty harmless. I am playing on a public server right now. It's a PvE server 332. So you guys could actually find me on here right now. I just have been going on public servers. I haven't learned how to set up my own server yet. I have seen a couple companies that will host them. I'm considering it, but I don't really want to play by myself. I do want to play with other folks. I was trying to get the Primus guys to join, but I haven't succeeded yet. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, if you are some YouTubers watching this and you need another player on your server, let me know. But I thought it would also be cool to play on a public server because then everybody watching could join me here for now. So this is my house here. Here's the map. If I press M, I am where it says home right there. I put a little thing on it. I can't see myself yet. I don't have the technology for that. Ooh, I get a little ghosting when I do that. And this game is definitely alpha, so there are a lot of things that are going to be worked out, but there's been a lot of improvements already. I played yesterday, for example, and and when I when I opened the game today, there was like eight minutes worth of downloads of updates that had been posted since I played late last night, actually. So there's daily updates, new dinosaurs being added every day, and so on. So I would be happy to start from the beginning with you all, but I thought, well, instead of just showing up naked on the beach like everybody else, I would show you what I've done so far, what I've learned so far, and then if we start a new world, all good. So this base has taken a while to accumulate all the materials for, and it's based on a lot of struggles I had just staying alive. I think one of the things I like about this game is this it's truly a survival game. So that's our dinosaur gate. We got wooden spikes all around. And I've got what they call a trike in here, a triceratops. He's actually my third dinosaur. I had two raptors before this and they died while I was logged off. One of the things about this game is that uh, when you log off, your body still stays on here. So it's kind of a trip. Uh, you're you're passed out unconscious and you have to be safe and things will eat you when you're gone and if you're on a PvP thing, people could raid you. God, that guy's pretty. He's like an albino pteranodon 
Uh, <laughs> these guys are not very fast. Albino Pteranodon with a black stripe on his head. I'm not ready to tame a Pteranodon right now because I don't have a bunch of meat stored up. And uh, yeah, we would be struggling to do that, but that's something that we'll do in the near future. So I just got this guy yesterday. I still got to level him up. He can run that far. <laughs> he gets exhausted. But these guys are really good for helping you harvest. And oh god, there's so many things to show you. Basically, in this game, you get stuff. Whoop. Get off of him. You get stuff by going around harvesting things. So you go, I'm going around. I'm grabbing into the bushes and stuff. I usually run around real fast like this so I don't deplete the bushes. Because you can usually grab things once, twice, and then on the third time, you destroy the thing. You can see up there it's telling you all the stuff I'm getting. And so I can just get stuff gathering around like that. And berries and stones and things like that. And then I have my various tools. Like my axe. Which I can go ahead and harvest things. It looks a little dorky <laughs> doing it from that out there. But it, it's okay from here. Um, yeah, so and depending on what tool you'll get, you'll get various different resources. So... I was getting mostly wood that time. I should get mostly thatch this time. And outside of a certain radius from my house, I am able... This, this stuff respawns. The trees and things like that should come back. I got a neighbor over there I haven't met yet. Uh, he's been doing a lot of work, clearly. I've seen him down there with mastodons or mammoths or whatever they're called and pteranodon. Um, but this trike is going to be a whole new level for me because what he can do, he can harvest, and when he harvests, ooh, I just leveled up, or he leveled up. Oh, cool, we can level him up. When he harvests, you can see he gets a whole bunch of stuff at once. I get a, f a barrier too, whereas he gets a ton of berries, although he destroys this stuff <laughs> fully. <laughs> every time uh, which is okay because it respawns so that's good so now I can get tons more berries um, using my trike and I still need a name for him that's one of the things I could ask you all what should I name my trike the raptors were named thing one and thing two uh, but <laughs> they're both out of the picture right now I park him inside here so that when I sign off he's safe and I don't know... Oh, look, there's a T-Rex over there. we got to watch out. And this might be a good example of why I had to build my base like this. Let me jump off of here. Close my gate. I've killed a T-Rex once, but I'm still not quite ready for them. Uh, basically, dinosaurs can... Well, okay, so many things to explain. <laughs> I'm tripping over my words just starting to tell you. But... T-Rexes can kill you, obviously, but they can also glitch through structures. That's one of the things that still needs to be worked on in this game. Um, and dinosaurs of a certain height can go over fences as well. So I had to make a four high fence. I'm not sure if it needs to be three or four high, but I made it as high as the Jurassic Gate there. And I had to level up to be able to build all of these things. Um, so this is high enough to keep things out, and then I got the spikes around it that damages them when they're trying to. And as I started to say before, this was all part of my frustration of I'd make a little hut, and then some guy like that would come and try to eat me. And if I tried to hide inside, he would just eat right through it. His head would glitch through the house and eat me. So I had to make a perimeter wall that was... Big, big, far enough away from me and tall enough and formidable enough to keep those guys out. And it was a long time getting to this point. And oh, those guys there, that's the Spinosaurus. He is really bad. And I think I'm safe from him now. We're about to find out actually. And I made this tower so that I could get up and see what's going on, but it should be tall enough that he can't reach. They were really tall. When I was building this thing, they were just able to reach up and get me while I was doing it. 
some of the big dinosaurs you can run into the forest and evade them and they'll get stuck up on the trees and 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 such but i found with the spinosaur that he'll just break through the trees and come get you so he's really hard to get away from i've died from those guys several times and if i want to go out right now i'm running that way <laughs> as fast as i can for sure so it looks like maybe even the t-rex ran away and there's oh there's all these obelisks and things that come on the map um, that are just beautiful in addition to the terrain. And I'm still learning what each one of these do. I've purposely not been watching YouTubers that are too far ahead of me because I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Because this game is simple enough that I think I'm able to learn most of it on my own. I know that uh, with some of these there's a ritual you do to to um, bring on the, to spawn the brood mother. It's the bo some boss spider monster. And I don't know what happens when you fight the brood mother, but it's, it's pretty tough. I don't think I'm ready for it yet. So if I press I, I go into my inventory, which apparently I access by staring at this little crystal in my arm, the specimen implant. So apparently we were, I'm a specimen. <laughs> I was dropped here by somebody the full mythology is never really going to be fully explained, I think. I was listening to an interview with one of the devs um, earlier. And so I look at this and then I have access to my inventory and all my stats and stuff. I've made it up to level 28 right now. And here is a list of the things that I can craft so far. These are the ones I have the materials on me. And then the red ones, I don't have the materials on me. Here's all my hot bar. And every time I level up, I get to level up one of these stats right here. So you can see I've increased my health some, my stamina some. Haven't messed with my oxygen yet. That's how long you can stay in the water. Food, no, but uh, water a little bit, weight a little bit. I've focused a lot on melee damage so that I could defend myself. And I've been putting a lot lately into fortitude because you get hot and you get cold. So let's see, right now I see in the lower left, I'm hot. <laughs> it's probably because I'm wearing all this hide armor, which took me a while to build up to as well. But uh, it protects me a little bit, but it makes me hotter in the daytime. So, looks like, no, that Spinosaur hasn't gone away. <laughs> so, oh, I don't want to go outside yet and get killed. So, let's just hop on down here. I've got my little dual balcony thing going on, so we can check him out. I don't know if this one is quite high enough from him or not, but if I could get, if he comes close enough, we can take some shots at him with uh, my bow and arrow. There's these ladders in here. They're a little weird to use, uh, but I think they're still working that out. And the, these are my chests with all my stuff. I don't think this one has anything yet. This is my next place to put things, but over here, I've been storing all my seeds and stuff. We could get into agriculture if we want. That's something we could learn with the engram points. I have 70 engram points stored up. That's just my triceratops growling, so don't be alarmed. And you can learn any of this stuff that you're high enough level to learn and you have enough points, but you have to be careful, turns out, because um, you don't get enough points by the end to learn all of this stuff. All right, I'm back. I stopped for a minute while a neighbor was making some noise and it started raining in the meantime. Oh, ow, <laughs> that must have hurt. <laughs> uh, this is a good example. My Triceratops is getting, giving a good example of how dinos can push their heads through walls. So if he wasn't my buddy, my faithful buddy, he could be trying to kill me right now. So this this place here is basically my idea of a minimum level of protection in this game. <laughs> and if I could get him to move, I could get outside. I wonder if I could ride on him. No, he's blocking me. <laughs> I've had to tear walls down before to get out, which I'm trying to avoid. There we go. We'll get outside that way. <laughs> get away, buddy. And then he can... I guess I can only get off when I'm in the short view like that. I can give him a whole lo number of things to do. And there's whistles I haven't learned too that could make him come and go. But I can make him protect me or be neutral or be aggressive or 
and I can he can follow me around or not. I'm not going to take him out there right now because, oops, I don't want to lose him to that Spinosaur. So I got to figure out what to do with you guys today. I prob Today is probably just an intro um, just to show you what I'm doing. And then uh, I'm going to keep playing this as long as you guys like it. Uh, hopefully you do and that you're interested in it. I could keep playing this world. I could start another. I've got a little Delo here. These guys are aggressive. I don't go around killing all the dinos on site because I think a lot of them are really cool. But what I have been doing, and apparently not very good at hitting him yet. Nope. <laughs> Let's just do this the easy way. I have been doing is I've been eating off of the carnivores. There you go. Generally, these guys come up and attack you, and they try to spit acid too. Right now, he's going to flare out his thing. Oh, no, he's not. Usually, they flare out their, their neck thing, and they try to spit acid in your eyes, and then you can't see very well. So, I killed him. Apparently, if you're on a dedicated server, uh, it's less glitchy. A lot of these... Oh, <laughs> I guess that was a little lag. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So there you can see the blinding effect. You can still see well enough to, to kill these guys, and they're usually not too much of a threat. But yeah, I've been becoming, and I broke my spear. Oh, and he doesn't have anything for me to harvest. So I've been becoming a dinosaur, or a carnivore hunter, and that's how I've been eating, saving all the good herbivores. <laughs> it's not like I don't eat herbivores sometimes, but now that I got my trike, actually, I can live pretty much completely off of berries, and those have the advantage of hydrating you as well. I'm actually hungry right now. I got some berries, I got some cooked meat. See on the lower right, it's got all my stats there, and my drumstick was getting kind of low. There's also critters in the water that you can go harvest. You gotta watch out, you don't lose stamina in here and drown. But there are some primitive fish in here that are pretty easy catch. And there's also piranhas, too, that you got to look out for. And I don't see either right now. So that's cool. Let me go up and get some air. Dropped a few frames there. But my frame rate's doing pretty well. I've got it on high graphics right now for y'all's enjoyment. Oh, and there's that Spinosaur. Oh, my goodness. But I could turn it down if the frame rate starts to suffer. But right now, it's doing okay. So, my next goal in this game is metal. And maybe I'll save that for the next episode. That's something I haven't done yet. I wonder... <laughs> I don't dare attract this Spinosaur here. I kind of want to do it and bring him over and see if we're proof. But I also kind of don't want to uh, endanger my new trike that I just got. <laughs> anyway... Uh, this has so far been a very brief introduction to ARC. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to keep recording these episodes and use them to space out between some of my Minecraft ep episodes. These are a lot easier to make. They do require a fair amount of preparation. There is a good amount of grind to collecting resources out here. So I'll be doing a lot of that. Had to cut down quite a few trees in order to get the stuff to uh, build that fort I've got right now. So there's a lot of that between episodes. I just broke it, but I pressed one, I got the materials on it that it can craft me a new one. I love this little flippy thing. Boop. <laughs> when it goes into your hand. That's, and uh, you can also you bust up these big rocks. I don't know if he's saving these big rocks or not, so. I won't bust them right next to his place, but you can get these smaller ones if you can find their hitbox. And these give you flint and stone, which you need for various things. So the game's kind of crude. It's kind of kind of cruel in some ways, but it's also I think it's sophisticated in a certain level. It's very immersive, and I love that how hard it actually is to survive on uh, certain levels. And at any moment, actually, I could get killed if that, like, Spinosaur came over here and so on. So living on the brink a lot, I've had to start over from nothing quite a few times. 
I've lost a lot of stuff, <laughs> either from not being able to find the, the little drop bag from my body. Here's a Philomia. Tunk, tunk, tunk. These are pretty primitive creatures, but uh, they're nice, peaceful herbivores. They give you a lot of meat and hide if you want to kill them, but uh, I don't need to right now, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, so tell me what you'd like to see, what you'd like to do. You want me to keep on from here? Do you want me to start fresh? Generally, the way I've been doing this, uh, let's exit to the main menu. Uh, out here, we get the main menu going on, and I just go join ARC. And over here in my servers, you can see how many servers I've been on. These are all the official servers here. And my general strategy is I go to the official servers. I choose PVE. Search for that, because I'm not really interested in PvP at the moment, especially while I'm learning the game, and it's so hard to collect resources, you don't want to lose it all. I sort by ping, and I start, uh, I join whichever one, I'm trying to double click on that, it has the lowest ping for me, <laughs> and that's been my whole strategy. So this one, I haven't been on before, so when it starts here, it would it would start, it's going to start with a menu to build my character. And uh, we'll look at that real quickly and then I'll sign off and I'll see where we'll go from here. Uh, I'm going to probably record the next episode today. So I'm going to go ahead and delve into metal technology in the next episode. But then after that, I should get some feedback from you all. And you guys can tell me what you'd like to see. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, let's uh, do... I'm not going to keep this guy, so we can just be funny. Uh, where's his head Head width? There we go. You can do all kinds of, like, crazy stuff. And then, let me see, where... This is chest, his neck length. <laughs> and uh, I didn't manage to do anything uh, too weird looking yet. I'm looking for the torso. There we go. We can take his torso way down. <laughs> and droop. And I don't know, you can just do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. They get kind of creepy looking after a while, so I usually prefer to keep them as the uh, standard. But we'll just try this guy for a second. And usually start a little confused looking up at the sky, like how did I get here? Oh my god, there's my hands. Oh, whoa! That is awesome! And now I don't see it anymore. But uh, that was some kind of primitive shark. And there, that's the end of the cutscene, and now I'm in control. Yeah, and it uh, looks like it's starting to be night here, or it's starting to be day, I don't know. But there's scary things in the water that I probably don't want to get eaten by. But since I don't care about this one too much, <laughs> I'm just showing you what it's like to start a world. Let's see if we can get eaten by that shark. <laughs> Maybe not. I guess he's gone, but that was a nice breach going on there. And the devs say they purposely keep the oceans a very scary place. And there's a lot of stuff going on here I haven't even gotten into. Apparently there's caves. There's caves underwater. I don't know what that is. Is that oil or something like that? I'm not sure. Anyway, doesn't seem like anything's going to eat me. <laughs> Even though I was offering myself up. But, yeah, this has been Monkey Puzzle. And I'm swimming back to shore on a foreign land. Nothing on me but my underwear. At least they start you with that. So, when people say they're naked, it's not completely naked. <laughs> and if I wanted to, I could start fresh here and build a whole new scene. So, yep, let's press K. And I'm going to say goodbye as this guy. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you later.